This is the culmination of the entire unboxing. This was the coolest thing that he owned. Oh my gosh. What's up guys, it's Alec Mac 111 and this is literally the biggest two packages I have ever opened in my entire life. I'm not even gonna try and fit this into one video. I'm gonna do this in two videos, but these boxes were so big and so heavy, I hired my Texas friend to do it because he's Texas side. Yes, please. Good boy. Hiya! These are literally two of the biggest individual packages that I have ever unboxed in my life. I have a third little one as well. Like I said, I'm gonna do this into two parts, so there's no way I could fit this into one video. But like I did the last video, two videos ago that I was doing of this big giant collector's unboxing, um, if you guys guess the correct amount of what I spent on this entire package, it is 187 pounds worth of airsoft stuff total. Yes, 187 pounds. If you guys guess exactly what I did, it'll end either a zero or a five, exactly how much I spent on this, then you guys win a free patch. I had three people win it in the last video, it was 1100. So this is more than double, that's the only hint that I'm giving you guys, but this is more than double cost-wise of the last video, so good guessing. And here's the little guy, but you really can't see me with this thing here. So I'm gonna do the Papa Bear, and then the little bear package. Um, I actually bought this from a guy. A lot of you people are like, oh my gosh, Alec Mac, one you fake videos. Um, I bought this from a dude in California. That's why he painted California to Indiana. His name is Elijah. He was like, hey dude, I'm getting out of airsoft and I really, and I'm getting married and I really need to sell some of my airsoft stuff. So he sent me his entire collection. There are a ton of things. I'll throw a screenshot up there, uh, here or there, that I show you guys of what exactly all I got in a picture. But this is super cool, and so I've been doing this for two people now. I've actually had a few more people reach out to me about it, but the first video is at like 11,000 views right now, so you guys seem to love it. So I'm gonna continue to do this. But without further ado, let's get into the first box. Alrighty, here we go. So this package, I believe, was like 50 pounds out of the like whole total. Um, this is Papa Bear, so I figured that he did this. It was really cool. Him and his girlfriend, uh, aka his fiance, um, they actually wrote some stuff on the boxes. So like open here, open there. Um, I think that's really cool, and I appreciate that you guys did that. So Elijah, if you're watching this video, thanks. One, two, three. He said the essentials. Keep up the good work. So I think these are uh, toilet paper. He literally said something like, yo, I'm going to send you toilet paper just because that's hilarious. All right, up first, it looks like we have his bolt action sniper rifle. I'm going to get this boy unboxed real quick. All right, up first, we got an L96. I believe this is like an AGM L96. It looks like just a basic, basic standard OD L96. Really nice. Actually has pretty cool pull as well. Um, it feels like it's pretty loose. I'm not sure exactly what brand this is. None of these companies mark their guns as far as branding, so it's really hard to tell unless you know sniper rifles that well, and unfortunately, I do not. This did come with three mags and a sling as well, though. Up next, he sent two sights. So it looks like this is just some sort of basic four times magnifier. Actually, it looks pretty clear and looks pretty good. And then this is like a AIM Sports red dot. All right, up next, we have two metal lowers. So this is a TMC metal lower, both in like a Coyote Brown tan. And then this one is a Fidragon metal lower. Metal lowers are super nice for airsoft. I hate wearing full face mask paintball masks, but metal lowers are a really great option to buy, especially with like fast helmets. You can kind of cut this off right here and then you can weave them through helmets. They can actually include some parts in the helmet. That's one of the biggest upgrades that I did as a beginning airsoft. Up next, he sent a rubber throwing star. So I'm gonna gap my cameraman real quick. <gasps> Yay! Oh, RIP Rob. All right, up next we have a variety of little pouches, it looks like. This is one of those basic M4 bayonets that you get when you're, like, the plastic ones at the beginning. I remember me and Jared used to go around and, like, hit each other with these. We never actually put them on the M4. It runs on, like, a basic iron sight, but we kind of would have them around and mess around with them, and they are pretty fun to do, like, one in the chamber with spring pistols with. And then these are two HSGI mag pouches. These are actually really nice. One's in black and one's in, like, a Ranger green, I believe. I'm not sure these are, I don't know if these are, like, MP5 ones. Um, and then this is a fast mag holder as well. I don't think this is a real one. I think this is just like an FMA one or a basic used one. Up next, we have an LMG. So sniper and LMG to start out the video, which is pretty interesting. This boy is dumb thick. Up next, we go straight from a sniper to an LMG. So this looks like the stock is just a M249. Like again, I'm not 100% sure brand wise. I wish these companies would do a little bit more on like A and K on the outside. I get the idea that like you want to kind of have it run flat and basic. But I think this, if I had to guess, this would be an ANK M249. I know they make one. I've never felt one or held one before, but it feels really good and it's massive. And so with the stock on here, that boy is going to be packing some heat. Up next, we got another gun bag. So this is a Echo One gun bag, and it looks like in here, hopefully, it will be another gun. Ooh, yo, this is nice. 
So far, the coolest gun of the unboxing. This is an Evike BAMF M4. It's even got like the anti-rotation pins that real AR-15s have. Wow, this is sweet. So he put, looks like a Magpul, fake Magpul RVG on here. I don't think this is real. It doesn't actually have any branding, so I don't know. Um, up front is some sort of M-Lock. Sick rip. I actually really like that. It's like an AFG of some sort, but I'm not exactly sure. Oh, this is Strike Industries. Sweet. So I run a lot of Strike Industries on my real AR-15 for you guys that don't know, but I've not seen these before. Wow, that's sweet. <laughs> I think you left the Yotech on, or maybe I did that. Man, this is an awesome gun. And then up front, we got some sort of hex suppressor. I'm not actually sure. I had another one of these in a Scorpion ASG Evo that I had, but I really like this style. And then this is a nice grip as well. The grip and stock are both DT. I'm not sure exactly what brand that is. They look pretty high quality. It's kind of like some Magpul repro or maybe like a Daniel Defense repro in a sense. But the body is all metal, and this is a really nice M-Lock rail. So far, the nicest gun of the unboxing. Man, someone is going to love this gun at their house. Gun bag number three. Oh my gosh. Sheesh. Up next is a Remington. I believe this is like the MSR or something. I am not exactly sure what brand makes this, but look at that burnt bronze on there. Orange ship's kind of ugly, but it looks like it does come off. You got some sweet, it's almost like the Ares Amoeba rail system on there. It kind of looks like the Ares Amoeba one that makes, I don't know if this would be Ares if they make one, but bro, look at that sniper rifle, bro. This is sick. It's got a nice rubberized grip. It's got the big old mag on here as well. These probably are one of the mid caps that hold like 75 rounds or something. I really like what he put the AFG and the scope he's rocking on here is really nice. It's 39 by 40. It's red, green, illuminated as well, bro. You, you made your guns real sweet, so good job. Ooh. All right, up next, I don't even know what gun number we're on, but this is a Magpul M4 of some sort. I'm not exactly 100% sure brand-wise, because this looks really similar to the one I used to have, but I know KWA makes a KWA uh, Magpul M4 now as well. But this has the Magpul front. These MOE handguards are actually really nice. Looks like he's running a tan rail on the bottom of that as well. And then this looks like one of the Systema style stocks with those pads on it. I'm not exactly sure, like I said, what brand this is. Nice Magpul grip. But either way, nice gun nonetheless. He has 187 on the dust cover as well. So I think that might be like his call sign or number on his team. And then finally up front, nice little birdcage flash hider. But this is a sweet gun. I'm excited to kind of mess with this thing. All right, boys, we're going in. <laughs> All right, <laughs> I believe this was his play carrier. So this is a Armored Republic designed in Arizona, made in Vietnam, which is pretty cool. So I don't know if this was his main PC, but it feels pretty good. I think he has a few in there. He's got a really nice SAI patch there. I love that, Echo One, and then America from Evike as well. So it's a nice little, I think this is like a Coyote play carrier. It's got a little mag insert as well, but this feels pretty nice. and. He must have, it looks like he was A positive as well because he's got those for his blood right there. All right, I couldn't get any further in the box, so I'm going to eat this over. Looks like we have even more HSGI mag pouches here as well, so it looks like two more in the Ranger Green and one more in black. I'm not exactly, like I said, I'm not exactly sure which ones these are because they're really long. It makes me seem like kind of like a UMP45 style mag pouch. I think these are the super old GMP PTS P mags, I believe, maybe. Or maybe these are the, um, maybe that's what it was. Maybe it was a KWA ERG M4. Like I said, he sent me so many pictures and so much info of what they are. But it looks like he's got the whole setup for all these mags as well. And they feel really, really, really nice. Looks like he removed some of the base plates. I don't know if he's running Ranger plates on some of them, but we'll look and see if we find them. Everybody's got to have an Evike dummy grenade at some point. You got to gotta get those boys you can kind of throw away. Those are actually good at some fields in Ohio. You can use those even if they don't explode. They can actually kill entire rooms. And then up here, uh, Torn War, hashtag War Torn, War Torn Gloves? Those are actually kind of cool. I have no idea what brand these are. Vic, Vic, V-I, B-1-K-T-O-S, huh. Up next, we got, looks like a brand new in package. I uh, actually just sold one of these that was an e-bike matrix one, but it's a AMO Amo Max Glock 1923-32 holster. And then in this box is a Chris AEG Firestorm mag adapter. So you guys might be getting a little hint as what's coming up next. And last but not least for the super big box, before we get into the little one, these are a bunch of metal mid caps, I believe. Mid caps, high caps. Yeah, these are all a mix between mid caps and high caps. It looks like he ran mostly mid cap or high caps 
for these ones, but it looks like he's also got a lot of mid caps too. I have like 50 mags myself. When you get a lot of mags, you kind of just collect them. And the final thing in the first big box was that uh, drum mag for that saw. Once again, there's no branding on here, so I'm not exactly 100% sure. I believe Classic Army and ANK are like the two biggest or 249 companies but I have never owned one of those. I've only ever owned a GMP stoner. Alrighty, so here we got the baby bear. This is the last part that I'll do in this video, and then the second video will be the entire big box. For the, uh, for you guys can win it either in this video or next video. I will upload the next video next week, and this one will be uploaded obviously on Friday at 6 p.m., um, but I will, you guys can win regardless. So if you guess in this video or if you guess in next video, as long as you get the exact number, I will send you one of my Alec Mac 101 patches for free. And so it'll be unlimited. Basically, even if you guys do it, as long as you do it within two weeks of uploading this first video and you guess the right number, I will send you that patch for free. Alrighty, what we got? Oh, yo, this is it. This is the culmination of the entire unboxing. This was the coolest thing that he owned. Oh my gosh, bro. Mm. Oh my gosh, bro. I have wanted one of these Crytek Vexters in the dual color for so long and I have finally got one. Elijah, this is the coolest thing I saw in your video. Honestly, this was like, man, I love this thing so much and I wanted it so much. I've had two before of the black ones but man, the double colors, that dual tone looks so good. He also included seven magazines as well. These magazines, for those of you that don't know, are stupid expensive. I believe they still only have the mid caps. Um, you can correct me in the comments if I'm wrong. I don't know if they released the high caps yet. I know there was talk about it, but they make so much money selling the mid caps and a lot of people run the mid caps anyway. And so it's kind of like why buy, sell high caps when people have to, can buy all these mid caps. All right, guys, that's going to do it for the first video. Next week, I will unbox this. This is what they called Mama Bear. And so this one is 57 pounds. This is going to be a crazy unboxing. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I really had fun making it. I love getting your guys' collections and being able to mess with them. Um, I will be selling some of the stuff. Obviously, I can't use all of this. So if there's anything you saw in this video that you're like, man, I really like that. Go ahead and comment, or it's better if you reach out like Hot Club and Instagram. I work through those a little bit better. But you guys are the best. This has been Alec Mac 101. I'll see you guys soon.